YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh. We back up in this thing with another one. We woke up this morning. It's another beautiful day. All praise to the Most High, man. Let's get it, man. Hey, man, I wanted to talk to y'all about the number one thing that I adopted to start having better success with women, better relationships. I mean, like, my relationships before I learned this, when I was around the age of 22, and the relationships after I learned this, after I was 22, are completely drastically different, bro. My relationships have been way healthier lasted longer less drama etc etc you having constant problems with girls bro where it's just like you constantly arguing with them you tired of them not responding you tired of them you know what i'm saying feeling insecure bro this number one tip i adopted it has nothing with going to the gym it has nothing to do with getting a bunch of money it had I, we, we want to self-improve of course but this is the one thing you can change about your personality in life that will help you with women bro and so that is not being judgmental you have to be you have to develop the skill of being aware and making sure that you are not coming off as judgmental as judging somebody for their wrongdoings you know a lot of guys out here are trying to mold their girl into the girl that they want them to be as opposed to finding the girl that they want want and and, and getting with her and not having to try to change her or nothing like that that's the one thing i've realized since the age of 22 is that when you're not judgmental and you let these women do what they want and, or not do what they want but do them like be who they are you'll be more at peace bro as opposed to you liking a woman look looking at her seeing she's real good and then trying to make her do x y and z bro i'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to help your success with women and also help your success with just being a good person and good being a good friend, bro. Because the problem I see today, bro, and human, like something that's about humans, like man, women, boy, girl, like all of us, something that's crazy about how we are is that as early as we can learn the difference between right and wrong, we also know how to do the wrong thing in the right way, if that makes sense. Doing things that we know we shouldn't be doing it, but doing it in a way to where we won't get caught or hurt anybody. What's that word called? You want to like deceive somebody, deceive somebody or something like that? We learn how to do that <laughs> naturally. At the age of two, bro, my mom said I couldn't have a donut. I really wanted that donut, so I took it anyways, and I automatically knew that I could not eat that donut in front of her. I knew that I'm, I knew that I was doing something wrong. And since I was doing something wrong, there was a certain way I had to go about it. So I hid under the table. Nobody taught me to do that. Nobody said, hey, bro, when you go, no. When I was a two, three-year-old, little baby toddler, I knew the difference between right and wrong. And I figured out a way to do the wrong thing the right way. And, and you want to know something, something else that humans do also? Is that we all are aware that we are subject to doing the wrong things where we may be tempted to go do something that we know is not right and then perform that duty or perform that wrongful thing or perform that sin and then after we do our dirty work literally humans will sit there and judge other humans for doing literally the same thing oh bro you're an alcoholic bro i'm i'm <laughs> I don't know if I can mess with you, bro. Like you're you're just an alcoholic, and then we 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 let people's problems define them who they are. Once we find it out, while the whole time you over here talking about, bro, you an alcoholic, bro, you a whole pothead, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, weed's not that bad, bro. Well, <laughs> alcohol is not that bad. At the end of the day, bro, we all do bad things. We all are subject to making wrong choices, and we all have made wrong choices before. And the last thing that you need to do is to judge somebody else for the wrong choice they made, especially when you made wrong choices in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's something that us humans are aware of. And knowing that the judgment is out there, what we do is we try to lie or we try to cover up the dirty things that we've done so nobody can know about it so we can present our best self to the public image to make it look like we got it all showing you all the high notes bro instagram for example look at somebody's instagram page you ain't never gonna see them doing anything bad on their instagram page you're just gonna see them looking fly doing their thing 24 on every single post they post bro they care about their public image 
They care about the judgment. They care about what people think. That's how we are as humans. And that includes women. Women are fearful of being judged for desiring certain things. A lot of women out here thinking that they can't be modest while having desires. Or they think that, oh, if I have desire, or if they find this out about me, then they're going to look at me as not being a modest person. That's what women are dealing with. And to make a woman more calm, and to what you want to do that will make your relationships better, your interactions with women in general, is letting these women show you who they are by not judging them for who they are. How many of you guys out there judged a woman? Say you probably would have slept with a chick. And she probably did something crazy to you. You sitting in your head wondering, like, how she learned how to do that? How? And you probably say, how you learn how to do that? Or how you learn how to do do it like this and do it like that? And you sit there and that's just nothing but judgment. Instead of you just realizing, like, bang, she went to work. I'm going to just enjoy this. I'm being real with y'all fellas. I know this is kind of crazy, but I'm being real with y'all boys, man. How many of y'all sat there and looked at y'all chick and judged her for being able to do something that you didn't think she was able to do? Or... You sat there and it was just like, yo, you know I appreciate it. it's my turn. I'm not judging her. We having a good time. Let's get, let's continue on. Which guy are you? The guy who she wants to be with, the guy who she feels comfortable around, the guy who she feels open up, the guy who she tells the truth to is the guy who she don't got to worry about being judged by. She can be her true self. See, when a woman fears being judged by you, she'll start hiding stuff from you. She'll start... She'll be like a completely different person. She'll she'll paint this narrative or she'll put up this facade because say for example she may want to be have a boyfriend, but she may not be the girlfriend that is designed for you. She may not just be that. And and instead of you realizing that this is just not the woman for you, you what you try to do is you accept her. As the girlfriend for who she is, knowing that she's got some probably some character flaws that does not which makes her not qualified to be your girlfriend, but you accept her anyway because you're so desperate. See, that's a danger. This is this is what this is what the kryptonite is against this tip is that you can't be desperate. You cannot force these women to be modest, bro. A girl a woman is going to be modest because she wants to be modest. Not for you, but for herself. She's got to want to do it. You can't make her. When I first when I first got would get into relationships with women, I used to tell them about all the things I liked, didn't like. Things I wish my partner would did, et cetera, et cetera. Paint out a picture of what all it took to pass the test to be my girlfriend. And you tell them the answer, then shoot. They go and do it. And as long as they're doing it, shoot. Forget about everything else. They won't let you know about those other things. They're like, oh, he doesn't like this. He doesn't like that. He does like this. He does like that. Okay, cool. The stuff that I like doing that he doesn't like doing, I'm not going to let him know about that because I fear of his judgment. Because he's somebody who, who comes off as judging because he's he's being so desperate and he wants it to work so bad. He's telling, he's telling me off the rip what I need to do. So a woman, if she's desperate enough, she'll try to fit herself into that box you created for her. What I'm telling what you need to do is you need to let a woman show you who they are before you start saying what you like and what you don't like and what they need to do and et cetera, et cetera. Let them show you what they are. Don't ask for them to cook you a home-cooked meal. Let them show you it if they're willing to cook a home-cooked meal without you asking. Don't ask for anything, fellas. Never be in a position where you have to ask for something. And I'm going to be real with y'all right now. If you have to ask for something in the bedroom, bro, come on, bro. She's showing you who they are. Don't ask for it. Let them be who they are. They'll show you. And then you get to determine whether or not you want to continue on and maybe make her be a friend with her or be a girl. Like, you can make that decision. Let these women show you who they are before you start pushing on to them what you want them to be. And so a part of you being able to do that is you have to not judge these women for what they want to do in this world, bro. You guys have to understand that these women love attention bro they love attention 
that's just something they like. You have to realize that. Now you have to under you have to let this woman show you how badly she craves attention. If she goes out to the club every single weekend, if she's drinking every single weekend, that tells you that that tells you all you need to know that having one man is not enough for her. Getting attention from one man is not a, she needs attention from all all the dudes in the club. That's why she goes all the time. That's why she goes to drink her problems away because she just wants somebody. She she that's what she wants to do. Let her show you that. She'll show you that once you tell her that you don't care about how who she is. You don't care about you. You just want to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? You also tell her some of the things that you lack in yourself, so that you don't have to fe- so that she doesn't have to fear being judged. That she can be c- truly herself and being open. These girls, when they want to go out to the club, let them go out to the club. Let them. Let them show you how many times. Just sit there and tell you, oh, she went to the club five weekends in a row, bro. Five weekends in a row. And you sit back and you ask yourself, is this a woman I can can take serious? But no, what do you do? You see a woman that you like, you probably meet her in the club, ask for her number, get a number, and shoot, this probably this is the first time you got a number in a while. So shoot, you desperate. So now you're saying, hey, when can we meet up? Hey, when can we do this? And then you meet up with her. And you say, yeah, I like girls who do this. I like girls can do that. What are you looking for? And then she's like, well, I guess I'll, I guess I like that stuff too because... I like getting the attention from you, and I want to make sure that I could keep this attention going on. What do I have to do to continue to get this um, 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 attention from you? Oh, just be your girlfriend, and all I got to do is X, Y, and Z? Okay, cool. I'll just keep everything else in the dark. I'll hold the truth away from you. Let these women be who they want to be, fellas. Don't try to change them. Don't try to change them. Don't try to change nobody. Let them show you who they are. Don't put, don't play your hand first. Let them play their hand. You want to know what women tell me? Ever since I learned this tip, they said, man, you're just so easy to get along with. So easy to get along with. <laughs> you want to know why? It's because I'm not trying to change you. I want you to be who you are. Be yourself. If you want to go out and drink every weekend, cool, go out there and do your thing. I'll catch you on when you're not doing that. Just let me know when you want to look up with me. I know I'll frit that shit. This is somebody that I can't take serious. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. But you, what you want to do is you try to make a make her turn her into a housewife. That's what you try to do. When you do that, when you allow these women to be who they are, you get to sit back and you get to choose who you want to deal with. But it's only worse if you are constantly working on yourself, improving, striving to be greater every single day, becoming desirable. Once you become desirable, you just add that. You just add this little tip to your... Bro, I'm telling you, you're going to be cold, bro. I'm telling you, this works, bro. It works, bro. It works, bro. We don't we don't hate women over here, bro. We don't get mad at the 304s and the, and the women that are more promiscuous than some. We, we love them all. We don't judge any of them. We let them live the life that they want to live. We just treat them how they deserve to be treated. We just treat them as such. I'm not going to take the, the, the more promiscuous woman. I'm not going to take her seriously. Yeah, we can hang out. Yeah, we can have fun. We can have a quality time. If that's what you want to do, but you know, our friend, that you can't take that woman serious. Okay, here's a woman that likes to do X, Y, and Z. I haven't, I haven't said anything about what I like, but I'm seeing this woman like it. she's going to the gym. When she come over, she bringing food over. When she come over... You know, she she's smelling good. She looking nice. She putting herself, she putting her stuff together. You know what I'm saying? I go over to her house. Her house smelling good. You know what I mean? She she's very. When we go out and we talk and we, you know what I'm saying? We talking to the waiter or the way She's very polite. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm not telling her what I like. I'm letting her show me who she is. Okay, this is a girl I could definitely take serious. <laughs> this is somebody I could definitely take serious. But you boys are so desperate to the point to where you take, you get one, and then you try to change them into what you want them to be, bro. No. No. No, that's not how it works. You will constantly be lied to. You will constantly find out stuff. You will constantly be cheated on, bro. Be be deceived and, and constantly be led astray and things of that nature, bro. You don't want to be the guy that your girl can't be her true self. 
You don't want to be the guy that forces your girl to be this. I see so many. I've seen so Every time I've gone out to the club, I've seen some dude yell at that, this girl saying, you're a whore or you're this and you're that. Oh, my God. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like sitting there looking at him like, bro, if that's if she's all those things in the name of the book, all those things you've named her, why are you with her? That's why I get at the same time when women say, oh, yeah, he was a narcissist. But you was with him for 10 years. When did you find out he was a narcissist? Yeah, uh, pretty early in the relationship, but you stayed with them. That's why I don't listen when people when people talk bad on their name or, or their exes or who they was been with, bro. I look at you because it's like it just shows me that you didn't have the will. It couldn't be have been bad because you stayed with them. You stayed with them. Oh, you're you're a pro, you, you, you're promiscuous and this and that and yeah, I, uh, yeah. And getting mad and frustrated because they want them to not be those things. But those women can't help it. That's just who they are. And as bad as you want them to not be that, brother, it sucks, bro. Because sometimes you'll fall in love with these women before you realize it's too late. I, <laughs> happened to me. Happened to me. Trust me. Let these women show you who they are. I ended up liking a chick that had a boyfriend one time, bro. And was dumbfounded when I found out that she was trying to go sleep around and stuff like that. I was acting like I was, what happened? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, you're such a... I, she showed me who she really was when she, before we had, I had even got with her. She already had a boyfriend. She told me she had a boyfriend. She was down, still down. That's telling me everything I need to know. But I was I was trying to make her my girlfriend. And even though she was showing me behaviors that she could not be trusted. She was with she was uh, she was disrespecting and misleading a man right in my face. And I was literally thinking that, oh, she won't do that to me. <laughs> These women show you who they are. So whenever they reveal themselves, or whenever you can't take it no more, bro, just remember this video. But in order for them to show them who show themselves to you their true selves you gotta first let them know that you don't care about that stuff you don't you're not gonna judge them you're gonna let them live their life do what they want to do you like going to the club oh do you hear all these girls saying oh i'm a home i'm a homebody i don't like going out why do you think every single girl says that now because they know that's what we like they know that's what we like <laughs> it's so crazy all y'all can't love, like staying at home because all y'all love attention and the only way you can really get good attention is going outside, being outside. You not all y'all can not all y'all could be stay at home moms when there's such thing or not stay at home moms, but not all y'all could be homebodies when there's such thing as called hot girl summer. How is there such thing as a hot girl summer yet all the girls like staying at home, bro? Explain that to me. They tell us that because they know that's what we like to hear. So now, nowadays, I be telling girls, say, oh, I like staying home. I be like, stop lying, bro. It's okay if you like going to the club. It's okay if you like getting some drinks every weekend. That's what you, that's what the week, I say, hey, that's what the weekend is, it's full. That's what they fall. It's full drinking and partying and having a good time. If that's what you like to do. That's what you like to do. And then they say, oh, really? You're not going to judge me? No, I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to let you be who you are. And I'm going to let you show me who you are. And you let them show you who they are. And then at that point, you get to sit back and you say, mm, how do I want to proceed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you can't be desperate. Like I said, a desperate man with limited options that don't got much options is like, mm, how can I proceed and get this to step B, even though this person is showing me that they ain't even ready to, for step A yet? How can I make this person the person I want them to be? Because I don't get really any options. So what do I got to do? That's what you, I don't want you guys doing that. That's what I was doing. Accepting whatever and thinking I could change somebody. You can't change nobody, bro. You can't change nobody. Changing somebody is completely out of your control. It's completely out of your control. And what do I tell y'all boys about things that are out of your control? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the things that are out of your control. She want to go cheat on you? She going to cheat on you, bro. You can't control it. Deal with her as such. She want to go out every weekend? Let her go out. You can't control it. You can't lock her up. You can't say you can't leave. Nope. She going to leave out. She going to find a way. Let her be. Because when you work on yourself and you put the work in and you become a desirable man and you get a man that 
It has options, bro. I'm telling you. You'll just be like next. And you just go on to the next. I'm telling you. But that's the first thing that you got to realize, bro. Is that you can't judge these people for who they are. If you judge them, they won't tell you the truth and won't show you who they really are. And if they won't show you who they really are, then what they're showing you is nothing but a lie. And if what they're showing you is nothing but a lie, it's just going to, whatever is done in the dark is eventually going to come to the light and it's going to hurt you. And you're going to be wondering, like, how did this happen? Well, I'm telling you how it happened, bro. You made it too easy for her. You made it too easy for her. You told her what it was. You told her what it is. Hey, to pass the test, you got to do one, two, three. She did one, two, three. And you told her, I don't like four, five, six. And she, but she likes doing four, five, six. But you want to know what she told you? <laughs> she told you she don't like four, five, six either. Whole time she doing four, five, six when she not with you. <laughs> hey, bro. I live this, bro. I'm telling the truth. If you don't want to listen to me, bro, cool. Keep doing what you want to do. But this, bro, I'm telling you. If you want to get better with women, bro, this is the number one thing you got to do. Don't require you to go into no gym. It don't require you to get a whole bunch of money. It's it's free. You can start implementing this right now. You know what I'm saying? But this only works <laughs> as long as you are constantly improving yourself. But this is how you vet women out, bro. So, if you guys need any more details, if you guys want to talk to me for about an hour or so, whatever you need, link below in the description. Book that consultation right now, man. You need a training program. You trying to get right for the summer. You trying to get right for these ladies, man. Training program down below, man. If you guys got any questions, send me a DM on Instagram. You know where it is. Uh, Yeah, if you don't need any of those things, make sure before you go, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm going to holler at y'all, boys.